All right, it's uh, about three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I just got back from picking up some of these supplies here at one of the uh, hardware stores in in the Lower Mainland here. Home Depot's not going to carry this because we were uh, there. I met an old gentleman last week, and he's interested in uh, helping me in the to maybe get the Joe's pipe technology and the Gee techno technology together to take it to the next level. Anyway, uh, uh, parts cost about $45, 44 or something. And as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces. And uh, this is going to allow to merge the Joe pipe and the gate technologies together. I'm going to come on that side of the, <coughs> the device here so you'll be able to see this a little better. And uh, I'm going to build this and then I'm going to upload the, uh, this video. I think it's going to be 289 or something like that. And uh, I've got another 30 videos to upload and I'll be done. Okay, that's better position. Okay. No, I can't do it left-handed. Let's get over here. This here is where the, the reactor rod is going to go through. Gate reactor rod. And, uh, it's, uh, you know, that's 16 inches, but that's all we had. So I do have the option to uh, shorten the length. This is the main part, and uh, this Joe pipe design, I'm calling it the hourglass design, and, and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, we start out with this, and we take uh, one of these two couplings here, and this will go on for the where the flame's going to come out of. This is a two inch, two inch. Made in China. Going on to a one inch pipe. And uh, I'll put this on the other end. As you can see, this is turning into an hourglass. I'll put in the, so the four inch nipple, by two inches diameter. It's not the heavy, heavy stuff, stuff, or black pipe, but it's going to do the job. They do have pipe there that they show me in the back that's about three eighths of an inch thick. Very, very super heavy pipe. And so far, everything is twinned off. So that's your hourglass. The flame is going to be coming out here, and the level 3 flame is going to be generated in here. And the reason for having this enlarged and having the center part smaller is to uh, increase the Venturi effect. And uh, so when this pipe is, when the reactor rod is put in there, eventually that's going to increase the vacuum potential. Same as when you take the reactor rod and, or the reactor pipe and place your reactor rod in it, it increases the vacuum potential to, uh, to about 11 and a half inches according to testing, air testing. I sure do like uh, Paul Pantone's work and I know that the gate process merged with the Joe pipe technology is going to produce the uh, uh, unlimited heat and unlimited power. Okay, let's go on with this fitting here. This is what makes it work. This is a an elbow that has the uh, fitting for the this longer pipe here. And we're going to put it on here, like this. This is where 
the inner is going to be going into. There you have it, right there. And uh, reducer down to an inch and a half, and a four inch nipple. I've already tried it. The, the fan will slip right over top of this pipe. Okay, that's number eight, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the ninth piece here. You gotta go into here on the end. So what I would like to do, got a little bit of work to do on this yet. This will be tack welded like that. No, like this. Pardon me. The reactor, the reactor rod will be, or our tube will be welded onto this flange, then inserted through the uh, back of the hourglass. Done up here. There's going to have to be uh, another extension off of here. And uh, I was thinking of cutting this part off. I think I'm going to leave it. So this is what it's going to look like. So to stabilize the uh, the rod here in the exact center, it's very critical to have this. Centered, you have about eighth of an inch gap between here and the this uh, half inch and one inch uh, black, a black pipe. I'm going to drill three taps uh, uh, and just put and just put some thumb screws to to center this pipe. But the air will be coming in through here, and uh, for testing purposes right now until I get to this point. I'd like to be able to do a test uh, today while I'm waiting for this particular video to be uploaded and just and just try out the Joe pipe itself part of it. I was hoping that this would kind of go in there. Maybe not. Okay, here's working. If the vortex principle holds true, the spinning of the flame tight to the inside of the pipe here, we get a nice tight vortex, should produce a backflow coming down through the center. Same as in the uh, inside the the geet, geet reactor tube. Where the fuel comes back in, it creates, uh, you know, you got cold going against hot. And what Paul was saying, Paul Pantone was saying, if the gate reactor is balanced, you actually get ice on the output of where the gate gas is coming out. But I like to fire it up with this extension off, then try it on and see if there is going to be a temperature drop here. And uh, but to fully modify it, I like to take this, maybe slipped inside, and I like to make another swirl device. So we just envision that this is inside here. Something like that. Pipe's heavy. I want to put the swirl device right about here. So the air comes in. The propane comes in through the base here and hits the swirl device, then goes into this tube. Okay, that's it. I'm going to get this uploaded. I'm sure glad all this worked out today. It just came together just like that. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's going to work. I might be able to set this up in the, in the holder there. We'll try. Okay, we'll call her here.